So, just like I said earlier, anything that involves creating or adding new columns in Power Query will come from the Add Column tab inside our Power Query Editor. And if you look at the Power Query Editor, you are going to see that it is grouped into different categories. There is a category that is grouped under the general section, which means this category does not have anything to do with the data type of a particular column or the other. You can use any of these options to create any new column that you like. But then you are going to see another group here that is meant to create new columns out of data columns that are of text data types. You have another group that is meant to use to create new columns that are derived from data types that are of numbers. And then there are also some that are meant to be used for data types that are from date and time. And of course, there are some other ones for some premium Power BI things that involves using AI insights to generate new columns. So we are going to focus on the ones from text, the one from numbers, and also the one from date and time. So when you have a text column like this order ID column, for example, so let's just assume that we are interested in extracting out the last set of values from this column because this column is a text column. What we can do is to come to the group of columns that have to do with from text and the options that you have in the from text. Just uh, branching before I go to the main task I just described now. You will see that under the from text, we can use these options to convert um, data columns into lower cases, upper cases, and you have to remember that it is not necessarily going to be converted, rather it is going to create a new column. So if I click on upper case now, what you will see is I'm going to have a new column for upper case, which is not really going to be effective for this one. So I think I should delete this and I should try that on the ship mode column, for example. So I've selected my ship mode column in my add column tab. I'm going to format and selecting upper case. Then you see that my new ship mode column is going to have items in upper cases. So apart from formatting your cases, you can also trim, you can also uh, clean, we can even add prefix and we can add suffix to columns. But like the task I just described now, I simply just want to extract perhaps the last characters after the last hyphen that we have here. So I can go to use the extract option and I'm going to carefully select which one of them is most relevant for what I want to do. So I'm going to say that I want to extract text after delimiter because the hyphen basically is what is used to delimit or to separate the values in this order ID column. That's a delimiter. The hyphen serves as a delimiter for the separation. So if I'm extracting text after delimiter, I'm going to specify that my delimiter is a hyphen, but then there are two different hyphens here. So I need to use the advanced option to say that the one I'm interested in is the last one or the final one. So I'm going to say scan for delimiter from the end of input. So if I click OK here, I'm going to have a new column at the end, even though you don't see it happening. If I scroll all the way to the right hand side, I should have that new column that has extracted out the last characters after the last hyphen.